Hi, e-commerce is all around us. Today I will share some of the experiences and learnings I have had to discuss what are the key success drivers of e-commerce as a business strategy for retail. Number 1. Does it have any strong value proposition at all? E-commerce adds a lot of value. It gives lot of variety for people to choose from. And if you are particularly living in tier 2 or tier 3 towns where you don't have access to a huge variety of merchandise, e-commerce comes to the rescue. E-commerce also creates a level playing field. It does not distinguish between customers who have deep pockets or who are very sophisticated or smartly dressed when they walk into a showroom or a person who is coming from tier 3 town or a rural background. E-commerce is also completely transparent about the prices. Price is given upfront. So there is no room for haggling or negotiation which brings lot of peace of mind to the consumer. Are there any contextual factors which can impede or can accentuate the growth of e-commerce? Yes, number one infrastructure. The country is saddled with poor infrastructure. We don't have roads which are congestion free. People don't have two wheelers or four wheelers in which they can buy lot of stock and then drive back home. So here you are sitting in the comfort of your home or your shop and making purchases. But even for the success of e-commerce, infrastructure plays a role in the sense that if you don't have proper roads or logistics or shipping services, your deliveries will get late and that will impede the growth of e-commerce industry. Another thing is the mindset of consumers. People are still not willing to pay for convenience and they are looking for price discounts and then e-commerce becomes a preferred channel for them to buy. The growth driver for e-commerce in 2019 will be B2B and not B2C. Do you know 68% of the business in the world is B2B and B2C is only 32%. If you look at B2B, the consumers which are traditionally your retailers or wholesalers, they are more traditional in their mindset. They don't adopt technology that easily. They are not the early adopters. So e-commerce adoption is even more difficult in case of B2B. But does it offer any advantages? Yes, of course. E-commerce can drive better operational efficiencies in business to business. Many e-commerce companies, they are basically not able to grow because people in B2B, they have trust issues because the ticket size is more and there is a higher level of stake involved. People also want to do negotiation. So what does it imply? E-commerce market players or e-commerce companies, they need to develop trust amongst their customers. They need to provide a platform wherein customers can discuss, chat, negotiate. Another big factor in B2B e-commerce is credit. The intermediaries, they are not used to buying on cash. So can we assess the credit worthiness of the customers based on transactions which are happening on the platform. So here your artificial intelligence or machine learning and big data can play a role. In B2B, customers also want to interact. They want to chat and they want to discuss. They have lot of questions, lot of doubts in their mind. So e-commerce companies who are into B2B can look at integrating some social media into their platforms. So it can enable people to connect, to share and to chat and interact with the suppliers. Another critical thing for e-commerce is that it needs long term vision. E-commerce is not for marketeers who are there for the short term. Initially, it's all about deep discounting. It's about thin margin because the market is not ready to pay for convenience the market is not ready to pay a lot for shipping. 
that means the marketeer has to incur some cost it may be funded by vc money but that is the harsh reality so what it means is that e-commerce means there will be few players who will dominate the market because you can't make lot of money on small volume of transactions but what you can do is you can make small money on large volume of transactions another critical area in e-commerce is can you run a successful e-commerce company as a standalone brand or should you be an aggregator it's very challenging for a standalone company to drive traffic to the website so aggregators have a upper hand in e-commerce even in search engine optimization aggregators portals they have a upper hand as compared to standalone companies because they give a wider choice to customers and hence search engines they prefer and show them higher in the ranking in future e-commerce companies will be highly tech driven so you will need a solid recommendation engine which will assess the past purchase behavior of customers and show them similar products and do a cross sell and upsell or internal search should be very powerful so that customers are able to find what exactly they are looking for reviews and ratings have to be integrated in the e-commerce platform because customers don't trust marketers they look for what other people are talking about next important thing for success in e-commerce is customer centricity you have to be highly obsessed with customer satisfaction so what it requires is you have to give easy returns charge a small margin do fast delivery and don't charge too much for shipping another pertinent question in e-commerce is should you have a marketplace or should you go for inventory model marketplace is full of challenges typically in marketplace customer satisfaction is low because you are basically acting as an interface between the seller who has the merchandise or the inventory and the buyer there is absolutely no control about the quality of material there is no control on the process which makes it very difficult to keep the customer satisfied and the vendors are very unorganized and which leads to late deliveries and uh, poor fulfillment but if you go for inventory based model you have complete control on the quality of merchandise on timely deliveries but it will require investment so while marketplace model has low barrier to entry but it's very difficult to keep customers happy and satisfied watch out big players like google shopping or facebook marketplace uh, marketplace are entering into the e-commerce space and you can buy products from their portal so competition is only going to intensify in e-commerce e-commerce do you know is also a search engine amazon has more searches on its platform than many of the other search engines so people are searching looking for results comparing evaluating finding all information so what it means is that as a marketer you can do lot of seo on the e-commerce platforms what it also means is that e-commerce is emerging as an advertising platform so companies like amazon or flipkart they have their own ad tech division and they look at different revenue models from advertising so it could be subscription based or it could be based on premium listings and so on so e-commerce is here to stay but it is not for those who have a very short term vision please do like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and leave your comment on what other key success factors you think are important for e-commerce and i will definitely engage with you on your comments please also visit the website profseema.com thank you for watching